Good morning. I want to quickly, as quickly as possible, talk about the dangers of Dogecoin. You would have to have lived under a rock the last three or four months not to at least have heard of what Dogecoin is. That being said, most newcomers to the crypto space are, uh, I would say, if you're into the crypto space now, you probably weren't at the end of last year. Now, before I get to really start into this, I just want to say I'm not a crypto expert by any means. I happen to know people who are, and I'm good friends with some who are, and I'll include some of their links in the description, but I'm not an expert on. However, I have been talking about and aware of crypto, and when I say crypto, I just mean strictly Bitcoin, since almost since inception. My weird libertarian friends and I were discussing uh, Bitcoin back in 20, 2009, 10 maybe. I had acquired a bunch of Bitcoin back during the Parker days. Uh, it was all donated to me. We, I, I didn't understand what it was. I just thought it was a, a new concept. I couldn't wrap my head around it. But it's taken me years to finally wrap my head around it. And again, I don't completely understand everything about it and I don't claim to. But I've also played with it long enough and lost enough of it and have friends who have done the same that are that people who I would consider the you know OG uh, crypto people. And what I see happening with Doge scares me. Not that I'm going to lose because I don't own any Doge. I've got a lot just a, I've got like less than 50 and I accidentally got those it, it's, and it's a long story I won't bore you with it because it's not important but I don't own any significant amount of doge like literally less than 20 bucks and if it was if it didn't take more than 15 or 20 minutes of my time to get rid of it I just get rid of it I just it's just not worth it but anyway my point is it's dangerous because it's not a real cryptocurrency in the sense of it has no use case. It, its owners, its original, or owners, its original, the people who invented it, don't even own it anymore. It's being pumped by social media and a really, really cute dog and a billionaire. The only reason anybody you know who Elon Musk is for the most part is because he simply happens to be a billionaire. Man, he's the richest man in the world now. And he enjoys trolling, apparently. And what scares me about it is these all these newcomers who last time I was checked the the pulse of society, we were in a depression because of the so-called pandemic. And people were so broke that the government was sending out stimulus checks, 1,200 bucks, 2,000 bucks. And now suddenly Doge goes from half a cent just three or four or five months ago to like, last time I checked, is it 70 cents this morning? And its market cap is like 80 or 90 billion dollars with a B and that got that's got me to thinking uh, it's not just a billionaire buying billions of dollars worth now the scary part is yes there are only a small handful when I say small handful I'd say like 10 or 12 uh, wallets that own the vast majority of doge and that alone should scare everybody absolutely to death because if that doesn't scare to you, then you don't have any business investing your hard-earned money in the first place. Because what happens is if those five or ten people in those wallets decide to cash out, not if, but when, everything you've put in is going away. Bye. So if you're the type of person where a hundred bucks is no big deal to you, fine. Throw a hundred bucks in it.
no, that's not that big of a deal. But some people, a hundred dollars in particular, like with me, five, six years ago, that's what I ate. That that was a that would determine whether or not I got to eat that week or not. To some people, it's a thousand dollars. To some people, losing a thousand dollars is no big deal. To others, that's their mortgage, and they'll get behind on their mortgage. And what I'm getting at, the scary part is, is the number of people who are putting in way more money than they have business putting into Doge, thinking they're going to be uh, the next big or the next uh, crypto millionaires, because the media is hyping up all these people who did just that. Oh, I bought into Doge years ago, and I only put in a hundred dollars. Yeah, because you bought it back years ago and you probably forgot about it. And good for you. I'm glad those people have made made themselves better. But the scary part is, is the people who don't have any business putting that kind, what little they've got left. It, they're, we're so poor that the government's actually having to send out checks just so we can stay off, the people can stay off the streets that they're putting that money into Dogecoin. It's being hyped up because Elon Musk is going to host Saturday Night Live tonight. And I've been railing against people promoting this and to the people that are promoting it that don't really, have never really been into it and the, 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 the argument I get when people Tell, they, people just coming at me in droves. Hey, Caleb, you get any, you get any Doge? You buy any Doge? And it was just hitting me just so many. Uh, and I'm like, oh, for fuck's sake, of course I've heard about Doge. And no, I'm not going to buy any or not nothing significant. Well, I made $1,000 on Doge. That's what they all say. I made it. I doubled my money. I tripled my money in like five days. And they get mad at me for approaching this with caution. And I'm telling you, if I were you, get out while you're ahead, because this is not sustainable. This, if there ever was a bubble, it's like people have said that uh, Bitcoin's a bubble ever since I've heard about it over a decade ago. Obviously, it's not a bubble or a pot by now. Yes, it has its up and ups and downs, but it's cyclical. It just happens to be a wider more wild cycle than what people are used to watching stock markets or even precious metals. Well, not even precious metals anymore because precious metals just, their curve looks about, not flat, but maybe that, maybe. But what's, what people are doing is taking out second mortgages on their homes, throwing all of the, everything they have, what little they have left into Doge. I finally got sober eight months ago, not almost nine months ago now, and started taking my cryptocurrency and my investment seriously. And a very dear friend of mine, I consider a dear friend, we've known each other for 10 years. I just recently met him in person. His name is Jeffrey Phillips. I've mentioned him a time or two here. Uh, he, he's been through the ringer since day one, and he's learned the reason he's so critical of people getting into Doge is because he's learned the hard way. He's lost some serious coin. Had he just left it alone and got into real crypto, which is DeFi, decentralized finance, and just left it alone, he'd be a multimillionaire right now. And maybe he is a millionaire now. I, I don't know. I don't know his financial situation. But he talks frequently about how much crypto he's lost over the years by making the mistakes. And one of those is what people are doing now, investing their hard-earned money into Doge. Like Jeffrey said, you know, people come to him way more than they come to me. They come to him and, and ask him, well, you're doing this and that, and you've had success here and there, and what are you doing? And he spends all this time talking to them about how to properly and safely, more safe, there's, nothing's completely safe, but to the, the safest you can be, investing and you go out and you pick Doge? Really? Like, the, the those few wallets that own the vast majority, over half, they're going to cash in. They're not just going to leave $80 billion on the table and let a bunch of these thousands or millions of schmucks come in there and just take all their money and get rich. 
if you've thrown in a thousand bucks and you've made three or four thousand in the last, good for you. Take it out and put it, in, put it into something that's worth holding on to. Digital gold, such as, oh, I don't know, Bitcoin. Digital banking, like Ethereum. The true OGs of cryptocurrency. Like it or not, mainstream media will never tell you this. Bitcoin was started by libertarians who wanted to get around the central banks. That's just a fact and it, it's just becoming popular now because Bitcoin is associated with crypto and now crypto is associated with a dog and this is the part that irritates me the most is I know personally a lot of people who know better they know better than to promote this garbage and they're they're making a little bit of money off of it and good for them it's one thing to say, yep, I threw in a gamble on some doge, and I made, I made a quick three or four thousand bucks in a couple of days. There's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with having some fun and gambling. It's kind of like drinking. You can have a drink or two here and there, but when you let it take control of you, it will ruin you. And if you've got your whole life savings, what little you've got left after the year and a half we just had, and you're putting it into doge, you are going to get so wrecked you're going to get so burned, you're going to lose it all because they are going to cash out. They're, this isn't a game. Well, to them it's a game, but this is your real life. You're going to lose out. So don't say you weren't warned. And people like me, we're still going to be around. And it, this cycle of Bitcoin and crypto goes into a four-year cycle. And what's happening is all the newcomers are coming in just like they did four years ago and eight years ago. Four years ago was the 2017 Bitcoin went high and hit 20,000. A bunch of noobs thought, saw it in the news and a few people were talking about it. Not nearly what they are now, but they bought into it, put in their life savings, watching it go to the moon, and then pff, it crashed. And then, oh, wow, it's like Bitcoin. I'm not getting into that crap anymore. And then they just dog it. So what's happening is people like me, we're going to keep holding, hodling, if you will. And when it does crash, we're going to come in and just scoop up even more and more and more. And the people out there that are losing their homes and, and all you're doing is inviting more government regulation. They are just chomping at the bit. They're watching all you morons out there put your last penny into crap, crap doge. And when the inevitable happens and a lot of people are going to be whining and moaning and complaining, I just want to be on the record this beautiful morning out here in the ICW uh, in Fort Pierce, Florida, what is today, May 8th, I believe. Elon Musk is about to host Saturday Night Live tonight. And I just want to be on, and I'm not saying it's going to happen, the crash will happen tonight. Maybe it's tonight, maybe it's 30 days, but it's not going to be long. And there's going to be not just a few people, there's going to be hundreds of thousands, if not millions of people who already didn't have a pot to piss in, going to lose even that. And they're going to be whining and mainstream media is going to be coming in and putting cameras in their faces and whining about how big the tornado was. And it's just going to invite the more, more government SEC type regulators to come in and attempt to try to regulate and save us all from these boogeymen so if you're in and it's up right now good for you cash in or cash it out and get into real cryptocurrency ethereum based centralized finance DeFi, bitcoin those are where you're going to have a, a, at least a far better chance of holding on to your wealth because that is what cryptocurrency was originally made for to hold on to your wealth if you like gambling and crap shoots go to Vegas that's what it's for because that's all doge is y'all take care